Caddis Maximus here. This is a quick review of this uh, Ideal Soft Grade uh, Brush Seeder and Commutator Cleaner. And we can see the dimensions. This is a 1 and 8 by 5 8 by 4 and 3 quarters. It looks like a uh, kind of like a sharpening stone. I'm not exactly sure what material they make these out of. Obviously, they have they come in a variety of different sizes as well as hardnesses. And generally, I use soft ones. These brush and commutator cleaners uh, are just as they sound. They're for cleaning up the commutators on brush type motors, any type of brush type motors. And surprisingly enough, they're not all small. In many industrial situations, particularly with older motors, um, also used high power brush motors. I'm not exactly sure of the applications. Um, they also work in any commutators, so certain types of older generators, those types of things will also have at least a kind of a rudimentary commutator for excitation. And this works with those as well. And so this is just a particular type of stone uh, that you would press against the motor while it's running to go ahead and clean the terminals. This is a fairly large stick, but they tend to last longer. So obviously in larger motors, you're not going to be able to pull the motor out. And these are actually designed to be used uh, while the motor is operating. It's also known as a brush seeder, but a brush, the brush seeding procedure is a little bit strange. I shouldn't say strange, but it's not the easiest to accomplish because they actually use this specifically for, specifically for brush seeding. You're supposed to run the, have the motor charged, electrically charged and running, and you press down somehow on the brush to make it press really hard while using the stone against the commutator. And it will drag particles between the brush and the commutator to help them seed in. I usually don't do that. I just use this to help clean up the surface. It provides some little micro scratches and uh, I should say honing marks. And those actually help to bring the brush more than in compliance with most of the portable power tools. And that's really one of the things that you're supposed to do uh, when you replace the brushes and can help them make, help them last longer and actually transmit power more evenly, or I should say lower resistance. But in the situations I use it on, and I'll just demonstrate it here. I mean, the big point of making this video is, you know, how might you restore these brush uh, commutators if they are pretty dirty. There are some chemicals you can use to clean them up, but you really want to restore the surface. And so one of the challenges is sometimes, you, you know, finding which end of the motor that you can rotate on on this one. The rear bearing happened to stay in the drill that I was in. The front bearing stayed on the motor, so that actually made it real convenient. Uh, you don't need to run it too fast, but I would recommend uh, the higher speed. And it's really pretty easy. We, In this case, I'm just going to run the motor like this. These are so soft and delicate. Super soft and delicate. Let me clean this up. I mean, this is a copper commutator, and it was grinding this thing away like it was made out of wood. And we can see that uh, it was not quite wide enough, and uh, that's one of the issues with getting too wide of a stick. And we almost got it perfect. Let me just touch it up. I should be able to do that pretty easy and get rid of this little nub at the same time. This really is far too large of a stick for a motor of this size, to tell you the truth. One of the tricks is you're supposed to go back and forth uh, at a pretty even pace, so you get a little bit of the angle on the scratches. At least some angle. You don't just want it sitting there in one spot. Let me go and pull this out of here. Whoop. We can see just it just takes a few seconds, and I'm usually pretty conservative. I don't, you know, grind it down till every last little black mark is gone. One of the other big issues with making sure that you're going back and forth is because as the brushes wear, they'll wear a little groove, and so you do want to try to make sure that you're grinding down the little lips on each side more than the center, and so that's why you're trying to go back and forth as you're attempting to restore as flat a surface as possible. But this is what was always amazing me about these little uh, stones is the way that they can grind on copper without clogging. 
and they can they can be used you know by hand you know on you know copper artwork and that type of thing even uh polishing up corrosion on wires this little stone uh, has been handy for but we can see it just really does a beautiful job this commutator on this way old drill just went from being black and tarnished to basically looking like brand new from the factory in a matter of seconds so that's how you restore commutators and get them to look uh just really nice and beautiful is a real simple tool and in this case they're made by many brands in this case this happens to be an ideal brush cedar and commutator cleaning stone and uh, hopefully at least some of my subscribers will have gotten uh, some good information out of this video. And uh, whenever they're servicing anything, maybe even an old vacuum, vacuum cleaner shops have a whole pile of these in stock because that's one of the things when they're doing a service is they just put in new brushes and clean up the commutator and uh, you can get another two or three hundred hours out of them. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.